Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Sai. How the devil are you, mate? It's a beautiful day yesterday. It's a be it, it was a beautiful day yesterday. It is a beautiful day today. Um, we're going to be reacting to some freaky deaky videos, okay? From a channel called Slap Time. Huh? Slap Time, mate. Make sure you go to his channel, <laughs> subscribe, and do the thing. All right, and let's get them up to like 3 million subscribers. That'd be bloody epic. Anyway, mate, um, this video is called Six Crazy Scary Videos that will make you lock your door. Door's locked, mate, already. Without further ado, da diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, slap down. We'll see it. Can I touch you? That's what she said. <laughs> okay. Was it good? Was it good? How you doing? I'm Callan and this is hey, Slap Cam. Today we're looking at some strange videos that have left authorities worried. So hit that subscribe button Done. and get ready for more freaky content. Just like this. Our first clip of the day is a strange one uploaded by TikTok user Jezebel TikTok. Mm. Take a look. Ghost, ghost place with dog? Isn't that just a mental dog? <laughs> Isn't that literally just a mental? Like dogs, some dogs can be mental. If you're a dog owner, I'm sure you've seen your dog do some crazy shit like that. Let's have a closer look. <laughs> Watching that again after the dog fetches the frisbee, it looks like it's playing around with someone. It, it does look like it's abnormally moving. Moving abnormally, I should say. It does. It's like his neck's going before the body sort of thing. It looks like, like some like kind right of invisible force is grabbing the frisbee and that they're playing tug of war with the dog. Is it because it the frisbee's messing up with his vision and he's like where the fuck am i going where the fuck am i going <laughs> i don't know this goes on for some time as the owner watches <laughs> on bewildered i love dogs what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> this bizarre footage said the dogs like don't fucking laugh it's a fucking ghost you bastard the comments section of bars as people scramble to make sense of what's going on the majority of people seem to agree that something's grabbed the frisbee and the dog is struggling to wrestle it free or he's going to be saying, Don't laugh, he's a ghost, Shaggy. <laughs> like, let's get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Some more grounded ideas suggested that the dog was just playing around or that the frisbee's blocking its view and it's walking awkwardly because of that. They, mate, However, I, there's uh? a distinct moment when the dog starts walking normally in a straight line. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so what do you make of this mm. curious footage? What's causing the dog to behave like this? Share your theories with the rest of the community in the comments section down below. <laughs> Dunno. Dunno. I think it's just a mental dog, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? This next piece of CCTV Ooh. footage was uploaded Sinister by Archivos del Infierno over on TikTok. It shows a young boy playing around in a yard. Mm hmm. Yes. When suddenly something strange happens. Watch. Okay. Watch it, mate. What the fuck just happened there, man? It looks like what something was pushes the boy in the back. You can see something, though, mate. Whoa! You can see something right here. Right, can you see this? Bollocks. Oh shit, I pressed the wrong one. Bollocks. No, that's the wrong one too. Shit. I, uh, hang on, fuck me. Right, hang on, sorry. <laughs> you can see something right here. Watch. Let, let's go back. There! Did you see that? What is that? 
If you slow it down, you can make out a shadow or transparent shape that appears just behind the boy. What? Some viewers said he merely stumbled, but that doesn't explain nah, the strange nah, nah, shadowy nah. figure nah. behind the boy. No, he didn't just stumble, mate. He was almost rock bottomed. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something else going on over here? What was that? Look, 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 look. Oh, okay, maybe he kicked up some dirt or something. Unfortunately, like a lot of mysterious clips floating around the internet, there's almost no accompanying information to run with. So for now, you'll have to watch the clip again and make up your own mind as to what's happening here. Like, he actually looks like he's getting pushed, mate. You know? That, that looks, look, looks quite legit. AKA legitimate. Paranormies are an amazing paranormal investigation Ooh, channel haven't seen paranormies on YouTube. For a while. <laughs> they travel around North America researching and exploring notoriously haunted properties. Oh, mate, I remember that. And more often than not, they capture some pretty freaky things on camera. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. In this episode, the team goes to investigate an old cottage deep in the wilderness. Have I seen this one? That stereo too, right when that all happened? The owners of the property told the Paranormies team that they frequently hear strange noises, not only in the house, but also in the surrounding woods. Mysterious shadowy figures have also been seen lurking around the property, but they always vanish when someone goes to take a closer look. Man, I don't think I've seen this one. One of the owners, Sheila, can't explain what's going on. Oh, good day, Sheila. <laughs> good day, mate. On this remote property. While renovating the old cottage, she discovered some old photos that date back to the early 1900s. While browsing the old album, something strange happened to Sheila. When she started looking at an old black and white family portrait, she began to have a panic attack. Oh, Christ. She felt nauseous and lightheaded and almost blacked out. Sheila can't explain the strange episode and admits it could just be her imagination playing tricks on her. However, if this investigation is anything to go by, Sheila's panic attack could indeed have been brought on by something a little more sinister. The Paranormies team begins their night by setting up their equipment. Okay. It stinks in here like old house, you know what I mean? Like the old wood from whenever this place is. Very was. old, yeah. Maximum they take a look old, around please. the cottage. It's nice and it's warm though, thankfully. Oh, I what? actually saw, I don't believe in orbs or anything, but I just saw something whip past your head in real life. Like, like yeah, an orb. There's no dust in here. Not long into their investigation, things begin to take a turn for the strange. This bizarre activity is recorded upstairs. Take a look. Oh my god. Oh no, I have seen this one. I have That's seen it. Who are you? Holy Hi. My name is Jordan. This is Johnny. Um, can you tell me can you tell me what your name is? The rocking horse and chair are moving, seemingly all on their own. On their own, what yeah. What's happening here? Can Stop I it! You? Holy, Holy. Fuck. Oh shit! Okay. Mate, that's stopping his dying! Okay, can you hang on a second? We just need some kind of gear to talk with you. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. Electric again. Again? Okay, can you stop? I don't know, it's just fucking me. kick it! Throw it through the fucking window, mate! It sounds like somebody's sitting on it. Sit on it as well. The activity subsides as quickly as it began and everything goes quiet. Stop. Grab a K2. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay. Okay, I'm not sleeping in that bed. Later in the night, the radio in the house begins to play up. Oh, uh, what? It wasn't lit up before though. It wasn't, so it, it what? See? What, what? Did you see that? that did weird. you see it? Why did it do that? This has been off this whole time. Trick before too. Mm -hmm. See? There it goes. Yeah, mate. Why mate, is that? I, some part of me thinks this is familiar, some part of me doesn't, like. Is that you doing that? Who, who I are you? I'm not doing shit at all, mate. 
That's weird. Weird, but true. That is weird. Is there anything else that you like to do you can tell us? It's like it's shutting off and turning on again. Then in another room, a tap turns on. There's something? The water? What is that? It sounds like the... Like, oh, I hear water. water. Mate, oh I don't God. think I've seen this, man. This must be one of their earlier ones, because I don't think I've seen this. So you like to play with electricity, faucets. While in the bathroom, more strange movement is recorded. Oh! Why? No, fuck off, mate. Okay. So... Is that one of their movement sensors? That's not a ghost doing that. That's got to be one of their movement sensors, right? Because that's on another level, mate. That's not just a, a, a subtle uh, head glimpse. That's like the fucking dolls breakdancing. Okay, we're going to do a Ouija board session. Yeah, good idea, mate. We've got like, dolls doing backwards Ooh. somersaults. Holy f that scared me. There's no way that I fucking moved that accidentally. No, you didn't. I was filming the whole thing. You didn't even touch it. Oh, my heart's beating so fast, man. The team didn't realize it at the time, but while they were checking out the movement of the plank of wood, something eerie can be seen in the window behind them. What? There's a set of eyes looking at us through the window, piercing red eyes. And Look at you! Two glowing red dots that resemble eyeballs. eyes. It just makes you wonder, was that the creature that Sheila was talking about that was making these weird sounds, whether it was something mimicking an animal? The team Fucking can't explain. hell, man. Imagine seeing red eyeballs looking at you, mate, eh? In a sighting, they looked for lights outside, but nothing could be found. What? Uh, that's never good. That's never good, mate. Is that, is, that, is that good, having that up there? I don't think so. I really don't think so. It's almost like something was watching them through the window. Holy I am my hands are that scared the out of me. Hours later, one of the team heads out to investigate the woodshed all alone. This is where the homeowners have heard some very strange noises at all hours of the night. While searching the area, he hears this. Now Jordan went to bed, but I felt it was necessary for me to come check out this woodshed where they hear a lot of the sounds between the two houses over there. I heard some crackling in the bush that way. I can't see without it. What? Oh my god. I shouldn't even be out here. Oh hey! Listening again, it sounds like someone says, okay. I shouldn't even be out here. Oh god. Oh god, it's, it's not like okay, it's like. Uh, uh. I shouldn't even be out here. Oh god. Uh. It's fucking Matey from Bloody Goonies. How are you guys? <laughs> Baby Roof. <laughs> Hello? Oh, then what happens next left the Paranormies team completely shocked. Not Watch. That's where we saw the figure. Oh! oh my God. Holy f Mate, I haven't seen this one. I don't. I really don't think Just I've seen this one. It's right there. Slowing that down, a dark figure moves past the window. Oh my god. Oh god, it's walking oh like that as well. Who fucking walks like that, mate? Right there. The creepiest part is bastard. Jordan, the other team member, is asleep all alone inside the cottage. He has no idea that a dark figure is upstairs. Okay, now. Just as I was saying that, it's right there. Jordan is sleeping. Holy I have to call. Mate, don't eat yellow snow. Don't eat brown snow. I would have been shitting myself there, mate. Oh, there is a part two to this investigation, which I highly recommend you check out. I'll chuck a link to it in the description box down below. Mate, I have to go and check that out, because that's like really the rocking horse, I remember. But there's so many th videos I've seen with rocking horses, but I don't remember the little radio. I don't remember the little black sh shadow bastard there. I, what, what the hell is going on? Oh my god. What the fuck was that? Whoa, I just saw. Hang on, in the bloody window, mate. Look, here, here. Oh my god. Motherfucker, he's gone. He's gone. 
Did you see what I saw? Man, there's somebody like it looked like a reflection of somebody standing up here. Wow, look at that place. Oh my god. Oh my god. Relax, carpet mats here, relax. So I saw your shadow bastard. Let's yell. There's something particularly eerie about allegedly haunted toys. Clips of moving dolls always seem to go viral. It seems they leave people wondering whether the item itself is cursed or whether there's a ghostly child playing with the toy. In this piece of home security footage uploaded by Tatan Mysterio on TikTok, we see a woman browsing her phone at home. Okay. Watch what happens. What's gonna happen with the blatantly obvious fucking pink bear there, mate? It's gonna be that pink bear, isn't it? Is he gonna attack her and start strangling her or something? Look for the bear and assess. It's just gonna fall back. It's just gonna fall back. Oh shit! No, it's not. It's sliding back, mate. And she's she's like, I don't. What? What the hell is going on now? Oh, I've been seen. So I'll stop sliding back. As you can see, the teddy bear begins to move. Is she sitting on the slope or something? Subtly at first, making the woman with the phone second guess what she saw out the corner of her eye. Yeah. It then moves. Because you would be, wouldn't you? You'd be like... <laughs> moves more noticeably and the woman gets up to run before the clip abruptly ends. This is another- Mate, if that is an actual ghost doing that, mate, fucking hell, man. Shit a brick, mate. Shit a brick. Look. Little viral clip with no info attached, so it's hard to speculate further. Most people in the comments section were certainly freaked out by the eerie movements of the bear, but ultimately it's impossible to know what's going on here for sure. So I'll throw this out to you, the viewers. Let me know your take on this in the comments section down below. <laughs> See, what's strange is if it was pulled by something else, you would naturally hook it down the bottom or something, like some string, you'd hook it down the bottom, but, but the neck falls back first. The neck goes back, you wouldn't do that because you would think it would just tip over. That's weird. With all the death and sickness hospitals see, it's no Oh, here we go. Shadow bastard caught on camera in hospital. Let's go. Many people claim that they're heavily haunted. Healthcare workers often comment on our videos saying that they've seen some really eerie things in the hospitals they work in. This next clip seems to back up these oh claims. Oh, Christ, mate. Here we go. Here Reddit we go. user Board Guy Online wants to keep the location of this hospital private for the sake of keeping his job. He says the security guard he works with often spots <laughs> strange things while doing his rounds at night time. The guard would see mysterious things so often he thought he was losing his mind. That's when he dared his fellow workmate to take a walk around at night time and film what he sees. The OP did end up walking around the hospital at night time while filming. While he thought it was unnerving, nothing particularly strange seemed to happen. Or so he thought. Yeah, Upon until... reviewing the footage, one segment stood out. What? Take a look. Uh, what? One... <laughs> oh, no, 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 I fucking saw it, mate. I fucking saw it, mate. I saw it, mate. What the hell? Oh, no, I didn't. I fucking... I, now I see you. Oh, look at you. Watching that again slowed down. Mate, I thought the blur at, at first, it was like a, it was like a gray blurish thing. And at the end of one of the hallways, a dark figure peeks out from around the- Like right there, I just saw that right there. I was like, oh God, that's Corner. it. But then, oh no, I'm it, mate. Look at you. Look at you, mate. Huh? Some random shallow bastard in a hospital. The Reddit acclaims his fucking that this head around part the of the hospital... Again. He's got nothing better to do than just poking his head around the corner. Hello? Hello? You all right? You can stand out in the middle there, mate. Let's see yourself. Show yourself. ...isn't in use. It's late at night and no one else is around. That's odd, man. To time it as so well. to be like, made I, I, of this eerie sighting? After seeing the footage, a lot of Reddit users shared their own experiences in other hospitals. 
Oh God, man. I fuck me. Honestly, I'm telling you, if this is legit and you're going around with the phone and you're just recording stuff and you see that and you know that you're on your own, man, that would mess you up in different ways. A lot of comments described very similar sightings, shadowy, almost transparent figures lurking out the corner of their eyes. Sometimes called shadow people, oh, this God. bizarre phenomenon has been reported all around the world. Often people who suffer from sleep paralysis or insomnia report encounters with dark beings that stare at them from the corner of the room. Oh, fucking that's, that is absolutely horrifying to think that shit happens to people, mate. Absolutely horrifying. I, I, I hope to God, praise the Lord, that never happens to me. Time and time again, witnesses will describe almost the exact same experience. So is this sighting a genuine shadow person, or is there another way to explain what's happening here? Unless more info comes to hand, it's likely we'll never know for certain what was lurking down this hospital's hallway. Oh, mate. See, he took a second guess as well, didn't he? He looked back. Before we get to that number one spot, remember to hit that subscribe button and tickle that little I bell the icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our mysterious and creepy videos. Do that for my channel as well, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I found out that 40% of people aren't subscribed who watch my videos. Like, 40%, mate. Fuck. It's free, so just click it. And do it for me. And also to slap time. This next eerie photo was captured by one of our viewers, Vittore Massaro. He was browsing a store and taking photos for his wife, who was at home at the time. He uploaded the photos to the cloud and didn't think anything of them, until some years later when he decided to review them. That's when he noticed something strange. If you look to the right hand side of the image, there's- Oh my fucking god, man. Oh shit in hell. Look at you, little bitch straight from the movie 13, mate. Although she's quite fit. Eerie woman in the mirror's reflection. She's gray and almost translucent and is staring right at the camera. Her clothes look to be from a different time and she oh. doesn't match the surroundings at all. Listen, listen, this kid's reviewed this shit Years later. Not right now. Let's fake it and let's upload it. Send it to Slapped Ham, mate. All right? He's just gone back years later. I mean, that's some dedication. If you're going to fake something, you know, take a photo and then years later, just go, oh, I think it's about time now we release the video. The image was taken in Galveston, Texas, which is reported Nash to be one of Texas? America's most haunted cities. Is it? In 1900, an enormous hurricane hit the greater Galveston area. It ripped through the city with 145 mile per hour winds, Shit. which is around 230 kilometers, smashing homes and businesses. It's estimated that 7,000 buildings were destroyed in the storm, wow. leaving around 10,000 people homeless. A further six to 12,000 people died tragically in the hurricane. At the time, it was the deadliest natural disaster in US history. Wow! It's this enormous loss of life <clears throat> that has led many to believe that Galveston is heavily haunted. Some say that if you're downtown in the middle of the night, you can hear screaming and pleas for help, but there's no one ever there. You're having a laugh, mate. No effing way. <laughs> Imagine hearing that at night in Texas. Fucking, that's petrifying, man. That's not good. Campfire legends say you can see the victims of the storm staring back at you from reflections in glass or mirrors throughout the city. Oh, shit. These... Mate, I really want to go to Texas. Not because of the, like, the ghosty ghosty stuff, but I, I just... Nash in Texas! Come on! I've got to go there, mate. I've got to go there. I've got to walk. I've got to walk into a bar with the with the, with the, with the swinging with the swinging wooden doors. Ching, ching, ching. Howdy. And just order a whiskey. Have it slid down the fucking bar. Bang. Neck it. Off I go. Ching, ching, ching. I don't know what that is all about. That's whatever, mate. That's what I want to do. I want to go to Texas in my Lexus and have some breakfast. <laughs> and play some Tetris. 
That's it. Stories that's, that's that all make I've got. Masaro's <laughs> photo all the more chilling. So could this really be a woman who lost her life in the great storm of 1900? Wow. That looks pretty damn legit. If you can't get oh, enough of our content, man. then don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out that scary video on the top <sighs> there. And that's it for me. I'll Thanks see very you much, all next time. <laughs>